Spoilers and fandom is like a book club for geeky stuff. Join us as we delve into the depths of our backlogs and sift through the games, comics, shows, movies, and books that we haven't checked out yet. Hey everyone, welcome to Spoilers and Fandom episode 7. Today the audio is a little different, we're recording at Between the Lines. And we're talking about John Carpenter's Tales of Science Fiction Vortex, which is a mouthful. Yeah. And we're joined today by, uh, let's start with you. Zane from Between the Lines, yeah. Zahid from Between the Lines as well. No relation. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Not related at all. <laughs> yeah, and... And yeah. Yeah, so two new guests, two, uh, which is the first, I guess, for us. Um, anyway, so... Did you guys? Uh, so, did you guys read this book? Well, I got through about six issues. Six issues, yeah. yeah. Six they're issues. they're eight in total. Yeah, I finished all of them. You finished it? Yeah. Did you? Yeah, I finished it as well. Okay, me too. So, um, first of all, why is there <laughs> is there a a reason you didn't finish the book? Like, yeah, was just, the pacing no, weird? No, no, the pacing was good actually. I I would have finished it. I just got time. sidetracked on one um at one point and just didn't go back to it. Nah, fair enough. Um, but it was actually really gripping. Yeah. Like, even when you called me, you're like, "How much have you done?" And it, it was in the morning. I woke up at like, I think 10 a.m. and by by noon, I'd finished those six issues. Yeah, like yeah. even for me, remember when I when you asked him, yeah. I think I'd only done four issues. Then I cleared the next six yeah, yeah, yeah. in one sitting. Yeah. And you? Oh yeah, I did about in an hour and a half, give or take. This morning. The whole bloody thing, all eight well, issues. I'm not one of those that can appreciate the art as much as others, so I tend to flip through the speech Wait, bubbles quite quickly. How the hell? Wait, so you read, you just I read through the whole thing? To be honest, the only time I paused was the baby thing, so I'm just... I <laughs> was like, did I miss something? <laughs> okay, He's so... a bit of a speed reader, to be fair. Okay. I, I speed read quite. Yeah. Wow. Um, so what, what did you, what did you all think? Well, I mean, we were... Generally, we, without, without spoilers. Without spoilers? Yeah. Well, it, it, we'll get again, to spoilers it just section. feels, it feels like a John Carpenter thing. Like, just the overall, the atmosphere and the story, kind of, you can tell it's John Carpenter. Yeah, mm. like, for me, the whole feel of it, okay, the, fa- okay, if you're a fan of Alien, not Alien, if you're a fan of The Thing, yeah. this story is right up your street. Everything is... Is there? It has the whole John Carpenter feel, and if you're to describe it again by the same whatever, it's it's the thing meets Alien. That's it. I think that yeah, the first thing I thought when I was reading it was the thing as well. Yeah. There's also it has some similarities to a David Who up episode for those of you. <laughs> David Who. David Who. Doctor 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 Who. David Who. Doctor Who. Dr. David Hume. An episode that's very similar involving a uh, landing on Mars. The water, right. the water, the water, water, water waters of Mars. I think that's the episode name, isn't it? Waters of Mars. So. I, I, I found the whole thing to be like a B-movie science fiction thing. <laughs> exactly. Yes. 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 That's, that's the thing. thing. Um, that's the I've thing. never watched the thing, so... Oh, dude. Kurt Russell. But, but it was, it was very spoiler. much like Alien. Spoiler for your spoilers. I swear yeah. I've watched like episodes of Centurions. That was the same <laughs> as this as well, if you remember that show. Such a good show. Yeah, I cannot, swear this was this was there. <laughs> but so. even even one of the characters in this had that Kurt Russell look, like the the dude Dolph. The, the, yeah, Dolph. Yeah. Like Anderson. The, even yeah. um even the that chick was very yeah. Ripley as well the French chick yes sure she was Shannon. very Ripley Sharon Sharon yeah Shannon. um okay let's talk about the the plot right uh so the the basic plot without spoilers is uh there it's like way in the future there's like an asteroid that's being mined and something messed up happened involving some kind of alien life. And uh, this rescue team has gone in to go check that out. That's as much as I can say without spoilers. Uh, but yeah, what did you think overall of the plot? Like, did... it, it wasn't like groundbreaking in any way, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's still. Would you fun. call it predictable? In, to an extent. In the beginning, the beginning yeah. is kind of predictable, but then um... now it takes a hard turn at some point. Again. We'll Spoiler go into that, free. yeah. We'll, we'll go into when that When the later, baby yeah. shows up, yeah, it takes a hard left until... <laughs> See, I haven't the I'm baby so baby confused about the, the baby. baby. The baby thing is, <laughs> what are you I, talking about? Okay, j- wait, well, wait, we'll we'll, we'll, later, later yeah, yeah. Tell me later. Okay, but for me personally, I think it started off as this kind of slow progressive horror type of thing where things were slowly unveiling and then suddenly just there was like a ramping up of the of the speed of the story. Like, 
things were just happening all over the place and you're like okay yeah so my issue with this like it was the pacing you know like um so what they'd keep doing is they have these weird flashbacks mm-hmm. without transition yeah and it's like just in the middle of nowhere which it's super jarring i kept thinking like did i miss something like especially in between issues as well um i know the first three issues had like a preview of the next issue yeah so you knew what was coming next but like onwards from that like it was completely random with what what is going on like it felt completely random i'm like how did they get from we left them here and now how are they here is this another flashback mm. is the question i kept asking yeah i agree it's also uh, the beginning when they were introducing characters just even right at the beginning they went yeah. they, they flipped through three different scenes trying to introduce like 10 15 characters and you're like we're gonna get mixed up one of these if you introduce them so fast without any context of who these people are yes yep like they, were, uh, they had the, the mining the, the mining team the research team and the base team and you're like and again the the whole thing with their names changing all the time oh yeah yeah um, um bear being and, Stop, 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 and yeah. you know yeah. sharon being Anne at one point and call them one thing i still don't understand yeah. where that um the second kind of insurance team guy comes from like he was just dropped in I'll, I'll, so I'll, randomly well we'll get into that <laughs> so 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 that that would be yeah like um, again no spoilers he was, but yeah, he yeah. was just out of nowhere this guy rocks up with like state of the yeah. equipment completely <laughs> random like, and, 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 and even the to... even like the the doctors and and stuff like they, they feel so randomly yeah, there like, randomly placed yeah the the what's her name i forgot the other chick's name the counselor chick the psychologist uh um, chick like they oh, all that, feel the nerdy, there's, the, nerdy, there's a, the, the nerdy chick the... yeah yeah the nerdy chick yeah like they all feel like really random <laughs> like but it's even that guy the guy you're talking about yeah, i can't remember his name um <laughs> his, name his his character was really weird because he started off as i do have authority because i have yeah whatever i'm the assistant i'm, I'm the charge. assistant of whatever yeah. and then when he yeah. gets he yeah. gets to the site he acts like I'm, he's the biggest badass in the universe that's just been through a whole bunch of action movies right and then he's and then they keep talking about him as a glorified insurance salesman or something and you're like which one is he yeah <laughs> See? yeah it's like yeah um i we'll, we'll get into that yeah. but um it's probably tough in eight issues though to to, to compress it's, it yeah it, it felt like a lot more this is why it felt like, this is why it felt yeah. like a b movie though yeah. like all these characters are just so random uh, <laughs> and like the, the stuff that you see in the flashbacks are not even for like the main characters they're, they're for side characters side, side characters. guys yeah. except for that like the trial i like guess bear. uh yeah bear. bear had like such little screen time but he was given a flashback and you're like yeah i haven't seen bear's flashback but i was really gutted when he like when, you know it's in the first issue we didn't even get it we didn't even see it dude we didn't even see it so sorry it was off screen <laughs> <laughs> um okay so what do you guys think of the art i like okay, that yeah. was that was i really dug that there was there was a, there was one um one kind of set of panels that really like stood out for me mm-hmm. i think it was in the first issue as well yeah. it was it was the eye like when she was being thingied yeah. that was one of my favorite bits because there was so much kind of Eaten. realism yeah in mm-hmm. in her expression i was like damn that must have been like that must have taken like few hours just to do that one panel yeah well that's why i'm super yeah. surprised that you just flipped through the book in like hours it's like i said for me i'm one of those that's why i i struggle to read comics is because i know that a lot of people appreciate each panel and how yeah. it's drawn yeah and i kind of just look at it and go that's okay well, that's, that's a nice. scene that's a setting this is what he's saying move on but things, yeah, must, for me, like, the, the, things must jump out it's like, sometimes if they're really like that the baby scene we're, we're yeah. like, when no, everything well, is just we'll get to that when everything is just pink <laughs> when, when about a whole bunch of panels are just pink the yeah. thing like that just that was out of there yeah. it just stood out um yeah pink is uh, pink. in the first the issue the way they did the lighting mm. in in space and like the asteroid and that kind of stuff that, that for me was really good but, yeah. but i thought that kind of dropped later on unless you got those big paid spreads mm. of like the station and whatever is going on i i thought the i actually thought the art got less interesting as as the, as the story went on yeah Um, actually you know we have also said... the detail the weird details were really cool like in the first issue you you can read like all the stuff that's written on the desks and stuff like uh oh, there's yeah, almost on the, like on the, a on the display like, like there's see. like a company name i thought on on one of the monitors but it's just like monitor a or you know like <laughs> written on the on the thing i'm like wow that's 
That's a detail. Yeah, actually, that was really weird. Yeah. We've reached now. We haven't. We still technically haven't given like a summary of what the story is. No. So, <laughs> so basically, the rescue team goes in to see what's up, uh-huh. and things go wrong. I can't really. We should we just go into spoilers? It's hard to talk. Yeah, it's hard to beyond, talk about this thing beyond that. It's not a lot of spoilers yeah. because it is, like you say, it, quite predictable. So yeah, yeah. it's basically yes. the story is essentially one of those things where a person gets infected with this alien thing. Yeah, don't go too much. But don't, we, it's don't. just about it's just a classic yet. idea of what, how, what, how, how, how do you stop them? How far do they get? Yeah. Da, da, da. It's basically yeah. just that. it's not. Yeah, it's not the most groundbreaking it's, story. But if you if you don't want spoilers. Uh, then stop listening now, go read the book, and then listen to the rest of the episode, because we're going to go into that now. Okay? Or should we give our rating before we go into that? Yes, I think we should. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Out of... What, are, what is our rating? Ten? Out of ten. Out of ten. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it depends on who's there. Right? <laughs> well, how would you rate it's this? Seven. How would you rate this? Can come in here or you get no, you feel free. Okay. Um, um, I'd say... As a if we're in the plot, way, just... plot, plot wise and things, I'm not sure. Yeah. Pretty. But as a whole, like, would you recommend this book? I would recommend it, yeah, because it's it's quick. It's a quick read, right? Like, it's only eight issues. Yeah. So I would I would say yeah, go for it. But then again, I would I would recommend things like the thing for people to watch. Yes. So. Yeah. Same vein. So I'd maybe give it on that balance, maybe seven and a half, eight. Yeah. I mean, for me, I'd also give the book a seven and a half, eight. I would say seven to seven and a half. Only because of the baby thing. <laughs> just, just <laughs> give like a six. <laughs> just came out of nowhere. I give a six. Yeah, uh, seven, yeah. But I've given worse, so hey. <laughs> I'll say it, it felt like more of a... Um, it, it would really work well as a video game. Uh, but I think as a movie. Dead Space style kind of thing. Yeah. Could, could work, because they set the atmosphere really well, at the beginning at least. Like, if it was Resident Evil-ish. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Like, but fixed camera angles... So, well, since I'll, I'll uh, be Monroe, uh, I know, spoilers? I was sure. Yeah, yeah okay, sure. so let's let's go into spoilers have to play sure. again. The yeah. part that really felt like it detracted as we went along is when they started off, they went, they they tried to build up this idea of this this guy's got this master plan of slowly just infiltrating this thing and just trying to do it really slowly, and then at some point it just twisted and went, ah, well, we're just going to throw out the sneaky stuff out of the way and just and go just. just Ball, ball, yeah, ball, to be honest. yeah. The start, pacing just changes. It, 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 it there was after... literally just a twitch, like a flip. And yeah. At some point, and you're like guns. Now we just became guns shooting things and running away and yeah. tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so let's go through the whole story, right? Yeah. So after this this accident happens at the asteroid, um, the rescue team goes in. Uh, they find a survivor, and we bring him back to base. and 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 two of their crewmates get killed. Yeah. By tentacles, they get killed by the survivors as well. Yeah. By by him, right? He he explodes. He detonates. Yeah, he explodes. detonates. He yeah, he also the survivor blows up uh, the atmospheric dome or whatever. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and and so a few of them manage to get away, and they go back to the station, and it's like, oh, what happened? You were the rescue team, blah blah blah. And uh, there's like a lot of suspicion, and this other guy gets called in. Which is now the guy that you guys are. There was, was, you, there, was there was that communication between the character Sinclair and the main character. Well, I don't that know, it's in my suit. It's in my suit. That's, so, I so they know. That's what, yeah, yes. that's, that's, yeah. That's so they they think it might be something alive, but they they still don't no, well, believe it. And yeah. so they call in a guy who handles like the insurance or the the uh, HR no, an no, HR no, random no. HR dude for for this mining company a bureaucrat which, uh, which again he has, says that he happened to be just on on vacation or something or just yeah on Mars on downtime no, no worries um and and so once he calls this guy in this guy exerts his authority and <laughs> is all like oh I'm I'm like a uh, big thing and and I outrank you command and like the commander of the space station and stuff and I've even got my grunts and uh, yeah <laughs> and so he he basically sets up the same team along with the survivor they got because the stories aren't adding up and uh, they they go back to the asteroid where they find out that well, what happened they find one of the original members from the rescue team still alive yeah. mm-hmm. and they this is your willow yeah Sinclair. yeah, Sinclair, right. And they bring, basically, what happens, they're trying to retrieve data from, like, the computers over there to try, which I don't know why they didn't, the rescue team didn't try and do that in the first place. I think the, the priority uh-huh. was trying to get 
the, the, guys. the find out yeah. the find the survivors find I guess the survivors, yeah find out what happened yeah, yeah. and so and plus, while they're even there even the second time when they went back there this the first survivor guy what's his name again? yeah well yeah don't forget he was kind of like the, yeah, they them. didn't know the layout they, yeah. Yeah. It, it was very much a yeah. Yeah. yeah so he was the one who kind of was not leading them where they where he wanted them to go yeah yeah um and so while they're there they discover more like alien things like the more tentacle stuff they're getting weird readings of like a life form <laughs> it's very tentacle <laughs> they, yeah, they all look like of, yeah. tentacles with eyeballs tentacles and stuff it's and things, weird yeah. um but that, is that the way the a, thing is yeah that's yeah that's how the, the thing, thing is, is basically the thing is, thing is, is that. so in the thing this this entity comes in and it it takes over the form of, of the of the person of the colonists yeah of, they're, they're and, in antarctica yeah, yeah. they yeah they're on an isolated space uh, ice station yeah. in antarctica yeah um so this thing takes over their their uh, the physical appearance basically exactly like it is in yeah. this yeah. um and it is like there's one point where there's uh the dogs and, yeah. the, and the guy switches on the lights and you see all these kind all of these black tentacles, tentacles like tentacle flying things. around and things so wow. it's this is why i said it's it's got it's very it's very, very things. Things there. and you should watch okay also for the listeners you should watch the new thing then watch the old mm. thing there are uh, two things we, yeah we, we should things. we should mention I um i don't think i've seen the new thing when is which one was the new thing it was it came out like if not in the two, 2010s it came out in late 2000s um just if we're not going off topic no no i can't remember what's that chick's name so they remade oh okay the, it wasn't really a remake it was like um it, one leads to the other like well, you know yeah. this was a research station too okay yeah See, well because yeah they left it quite open yeah i remember how the, the first one ended yeah, yeah. with a dog running away yeah 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 well we should, they definitely left it open yeah. yeah we should mention that before they actually go back with yeah. the new team i was going to say that and the, the guy, survivor doll his name is doll anderson yeah. he, he he has an interaction with interaction with, with a they, counselor and the arts that they use to show it is super creepy <laughs> like with his mouth expanded. It's, it's expanded so oh god so, so, that bit in the lift yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, just, oh. so we, we obviously know something has happened to poor and just randomly introduced nerdy chick that just got introduced yeah it's it's um, i think that so the way they do that with the art is is amazing especially like those creepy moments yeah. creepy weird distorted face moments okay but, again another sorry this is going to go so no, 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 like, no topic a bit but that scene like yeah. okay when when you realize what this guy is doing yeah it made me remember this game called marathon ah uh, yeah but okay. even look in fact forget marathon it wasn't like marathon it's more like system shock uh-huh because in system shock what these guys what happens is there's this like super organism that's made by these guys who are controlled so they call themselves the many so they call they 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 they, they what's it called They, they assimilate guys yeah. into it so like as this chick now the way she was assimilated by this guy with those new cells mm-hmm. and this new tentacleness yeah <laughs> she was cool with it yeah and even in even in <laughs> system shock the many they try and they try and woo you to join them yeah. so you'll always be, you'll be fighting them but they'll be like join us join Body's us but it's yeah. even like prey yeah like actually prey, yes. prey, prey is also the kind of the, yeah with the even mimics prey. and the biting people's faces off and yeah, yeah it's yeah, so it's, if you're into this body horror kind of stuff yeah there yeah. is plenty oh it's it is creepy like... but then i think <laughs> i think this is the, the that moment is when when i felt like the the pacing just changed is that moment when with the spacesuits when when the tentacles are in the space in the spacesuits they abandon spacesuits yeah and one of the grunts gets pickaxe oh, yeah. from behind yeah. yeah so so basically with the second team everything goes wrong and stuff has already started going wrong back on the station as well because of the aliens and so on and blah, blah blah that's that's basically the story and the aliens trying to get back to earth to also infect more people, earth more people that's that's the basic gist what i didn't understand at all was why there was a storyline that gave that uh who is the main main guy the cop the copenhagen the, the, the copenhagen disaster made no sense in the context of yeah it didn't had anything except that you you know <laughs> about like the only thing that added was this guy is the hero of the show yeah uh, well the the hero of the book yeah. and uh he it's, does it's, he does what's necessary but yeah, the there's that that there's that, 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 there's that but there's also the dynamic apparently between the head of the station and him because her husband or something and her husband and her family were, were killed and, yeah and but he saved but he saved her her child but, but we, don't, we don't like we have no like, but we don't I know think, what happened with no, that. no basically so so that that whole bit i think this is the only baby i remember right yeah. 
the baby in that flashback is from. No, oh, God. because she, yeah, he gets right. he gets handed Wait. the baby by Will by by Sinclair randomly in that pink scene. No, that's no, not, that's, that's not that's Sinclair. Separate. That's that, separate. That, so yeah, it keeps going back and forth between, uh, like flashback and current time, and there's no transition in between. Yeah. So what I got from that was, uh, this chick, this chick's kid was saved by, uh. What's his face? The the hero of the. Sh I love the fact that none of us remember his yeah. name. That's that's how, let's just yeah. say this way. Yeah. Personally, for me, like, yeah. that baby came out of nowhere, and and it didn't even play a role in the damn thing, and it was just there. And yeah, but it was that. Amp up the tension. And, and, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So now there's a baby. All there was there. Amp up the ten involved. tension and and screwed with now c the the space station commander's yeah, uh, ethics. Like yeah. I will save my baby, and I will not sacrifice. It still didn't make sense that they showed you the entire Copenhagen scenario. No, that could have all been all a story. It could have been. It could have just been in dialogue. They could have spoken about it. Like why? Why did we? We were already told about the trial. Why did we have to see it? Exactly. Like with him meeting Sinclair. It was the same with. Shannon, Sharon, Shannon. No, the, see, the Sharon was interesting. No, actually, Why was she in jail? Yeah, yeah. No, no, that's the story we all want to know. That's the story we all want to know. They explained it. They explained it. <laughs> they did explain it. Uh, I don't remember it, that. It was, she, she apparently had gone through oh, the yes, ring yes, to yes, grab yeah. a, a she, she, bunch of mail because yeah. apparently. Mail yeah, because yeah, because no, because and, she she and, and she yeah, have mail. and and that was it. And she didn't have mail, so but, she's but still, she's a, she's like, got a heart why? of gold. You know, and like, apparently she, but she doesn't <laughs> she seem no. to she's have. A maverick. She doesn't have any chip on her shoulder about the fact that she was in the brig. So she, she's, yeah. she's just called out of the brig. She's told, just a, flying this mission, and she just there's no. Cool. I want to yeah. do it. Yeah, that's it. They're just trying to set up that she's just a cool badass. Yeah, she is a badass. She was. She was actually probably the favorite character. Yeah. Me too. She's very nicely drawn as well. I don't know. I, I like I, the I, main I, guy, even if I don't remember his name. I I root for. I root, okay, in these things, I root for the guy who's good, who's the obvious bad guy. Yeah, yeah. Anderson, yeah. I liked by the way. Yeah, because I wanted. I actually wanted him to take over the station. Legit. I Wait. I hoped he was in the baby. You hoped he was in the baby. Yes. Yeah. I, I honestly hope because that baby came out of nowhere. So you wanted. To yeah. Do I want like how how do we know he didn't form that baby out of just. So, but the, here's the thing. The so sequel. The reached, sequel. I haven't reached the part where he's taken over everything. So where I've gotten to. He has. To, no. He, he, okay, so he where, takes over a bunch of people. Yeah. Where I've gotten takes to. Takes over he's, about he's gotten, of it. Where I've gotten to. He's gotten to the. The doctor on the station and yeah. cured him of his cancer. Of his cancer. Yeah. yeah. And so at he, this point, I'm going. Well, he corrupts the doctor. There's nothing bad about this. No, so Not that yet. doctor gets corrupted yeah. slowly, slowly, slowly. His mind gets corrupted, and and because now the doctor is there, it turns out that he's actually operating now. That counseling chick mm -hmm. is like a remote connection yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I for whoever that. gets infected on on in that place. Okay. And so now the doctor's ex the doctor's been experimenting with like different cadavers and that kind of thing. So he even takes over one of the cadavers as well. So that thing is like a walking skeleton. Actually, that, <laughs> that, was was, that was his cancer. That was, that his, was cancer. his cancer. Yeah, that but was... it's on a skull. It was on a skeleton, yeah, he added it. right? He added it. it was on a skeleton. Yeah, yeah. 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 Because, because, and, because and he took because control he of that. Because he collected the cancer. He said, yeah. um, "What's it? Anderson will be angry if I leave this behind." Yes. Yeah. And she picked it up and then walked out. But he, here's the thing: this, that you remember that they, he had that notebook. Addison had that notebook of yeah. Of what this is, is what is thought? This is this is what the remote control is. He had the other thing. Yeah. When the main character shows him this at the end, he says. You think you're in control, or you're, or you have thing over it. Yeah. But look at what you've actually written. And, and all then, that stuff. And all oh, that stuff at the end. Kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me help me, me, kill me, kill me, kill it, kill it. Yeah. And he's like, just, I didn't write that. I didn't write Do that. you think he did though? I did. Or maybe it was you. Are you saying what the main character? What if the main hero just, just wrote that shit it. in just to fuck while on the run? While on the run. That would be so good. Got to mess with his mind a little bit. Yeah. That would be amazing. That would be so good. Yeah. So he gets that guy's cancer. Yeah. Attaches it to like a cadaver with random additional cells, makes a cocktail of some guy who looks a hell of a lot like Nemesis from Resident Evil. Oh. So he's yeah, my favorite Evil. Resident Evil villain, by the way. Yeah. So he now he now he was complaining at that point because it's like he used the doctor and she didn't work out. He used this other guy, and she he didn't work out. So it was like he wants to keep he's all to all keep his remote keeps, bodies. Yeah. He wants to keep them stupid now, like yeah. that. So. Like I think Sinclair. that's what you're setting him up for, like more of a zombie-ish, yeah. like army. You, like you guys are talking about Sharon being the badass. Come on, Sinclair was a badass. No, Sinclair she was, she was, she was, Sinclair corrupted. was taken and then, over, and but like again, like what what purpose did she really? She serve? retained all. She didn't really serve any purpose. Yeah. No, I think it was an attempt to see what happens. I I, I think if they you put like combined all everyone's knowledge into her and seeing if she could. 
she's yeah, gotta be controlled just, or whatever, but just, she turned out to she retain. She wasn't self aware, basically. Yeah. He made he made her independent. He made her independent and, and, and she out, wasn't self aware. She, she, she turned on them. Yeah. And oh. sacrificed herself and gave her a baby, which yeah. still sticks. I, don't, I, I still think that like baby, baby, still think that baby, baby is like. Do you know what? Themselves. I have a feeling what they were trying to go for is maybe something like that Copenhagen incident is actually the cause of the alien that it maybe came out of that. No, that's too deep for this. Shit. And I can't, this I can't one is just. It was. was it was. It was just in the asteroid. asteroid. Yeah. yeah. Let's just let's just assume that that <laughs> baby was just materialized out of nowhere. <laughs> Although, like now, another issue I had was like the writing is, is kind of meh. Like it almost feels like like they they literally just drew the panels and and filled them in with context. Okay. With like with the speech and the dialogue, like it it felt very. Very B movie. Yeah. Like it's it's not not really captivating the dialogue for me at least. I didn't find it very captivating. Yeah, it was pretty basic. Yeah. Yeah. And like the most captivating been... person is actually the bad guy. Yeah. But I suspect um, that's that's down to the John Carpenter angle because I think most of his stuff is, is that way. Yeah. Is that way? There's uh-huh. also stuff that didn't make sense, like when they were on the ship, um, when they're trying to get back to the station, when they were getting chased by Anderson. Yeah. And then the ship rammed into it, and yet the next scene they were on back on on the station, and. I was like, but I thought this ship just ran uh, rammed into them. How did they manage to get control of it and fly back? Like, Wait, oh no, what? they 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 ejected. Stuff. Yeah, they jettisoned yeah, stuff they jettisoned, out they jettisoned and reattached it. Yeah, they reattached stuff. Yeah, they reattached. But that was basically to like it, it ran into the main ship. Like, what did they jettison to get back? <laughs> Wait, which part are which you talking part? about? Because there was, there's a lot of ship. There was the, yeah. <laughs> it was it was a ship that they were trying to escape on, and they're like, okay, we can either lure this thing, the 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 grunt tentacle dude. We can either oh, either lure, yeah. lure, lure him into the into the the, the canister yeah. at the bottom, yeah. But then Anderson takes the canister at the bottom, and then goes to back to the no. So station. so what they did with that guy is they they left that guy on the ship. Uh, no, sorry, the no wait. Anderson blew up the main bridge where where uh, Captain Insurance guy and the pilot. Was, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, right? exactly. <laughs> right? Yeah, he, he blew up the bridge. He, he, he's he's yeah, that he guy died. Um, he no, they, they they both died. Yeah, he depressurized them. Right? They all died. They both yeah, died. one yeah. one died in space very nicely. Um, <laughs> these guys uh, jettisoned the part of the 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 escape pod that they were in, okay, mm-hmm. and attached it now to the bridge part, uh, the the bridge that was blown off. Yeah, right. That's that's what happened. Because but well, you can do that just. Well, we don't know. Yeah, they, didn't, they didn't go they into that explain. detail. They didn't go into that like, detail. We don't know. Kind of like, the, like, the, the hyperspace thing is, is called the rift in, in this thing. Just, and it uses gates from yeah. Mass Effect. And, <laughs> but they never went into detail. To be fair, like, like, I, I also felt the same way when they were escaping on the station. Like, at times, I, I didn't even, I couldn't understand how they were escaping at times or how they were being attacked. It was just all so, like... Or just how just, the lifts sh- work. Yeah. Like, that guy got killed for what? Like, I have to hold the circuit? Yeah, he and like, his hand, kind of and his hand, is this? And his hand like, came off, and I'm like, "Wait, was that was that in the previous scene where he got cut off?" But I didn't see a hand there. What I mean, what's like, like, here? Like for me, the thing that bugged me was how do the, how does the bad guy get jammed in an airlock, and not be able to reach the guy on the other side of the room? He had the whole extended hand thing. Yeah, he had the whole extended <laughs> hand thing. This whole thing is about like tentacles. Yeah, you should be able to grow like fifty of them at will. I also don't yeah. understand how any of them died. Like. We're talking about bear. Bear, bear died. Bear's tentacle virgin died instantly by getting shot. Yeah. The grunts basically couldn't be killed until he got jettisoned. Yeah. The main bad guy couldn't be killed no matter what. I don't know when they died or how they couldn't die. Oh, <laughs> some could... some were burnt alive. Like that worked. Like burning when... them worked. And when he apparently crushed that one's the the nerdy chick's tentacle form in the head, she just, he just was it. Uh, the, or remember he just Anderson crushes her head. So oh yeah. It's enough. And he just kills it by crushing her head. And I'm like, I don't understand how you kill these things. Can they be? Like, and then there's yeah, the, yeah. Liquid, the liquid version of that person. There was that liquefied chick right yeah, at the, the beginning. Station. Yeah. No, no, no. Like halfway through, like when when they show the the cancer guy. Yeah, when yeah. he's taken the there's way uh, the person. the counselor looks. I forgot the counselor's name. Man. Yeah. Jake, but the, like she's the like it's a very horrific body horror kind of moment i'm like oh, so she's like, oh. She's gone, yes, like, when she's tassy, sitting yeah. on the yeah. when she's lying on the bed and she's yeah. like i'm feeling a little unwell yeah it looked like it came from parasite the anime uh, it's like para, parasite para yeah so yeah if you're a fan of any of those things it's, that we've mentioned you'll you'll yeah. be okay you'll be cool with this you'll like this yeah well so you'd recommend it oh, hell yes yeah yeah it's it's I think it could do with it could do, the thing is it could do it felt like it was a big story that was compressed 
And then they, they went through halfway and then realized, oh, no, we have to actually finish this in four issues. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just compress the rest of the 90% of the story yes. into this four issues. It did feel like that, yeah. Like, the pacing did was, take a nice I think it would yeah. actually make, like I said, a very good video game. No, that's like just dead bases. bases. I'd, I'd rather a movie. Yeah. Uh, for me, I don't know. I get where he's going with the game thing. Yeah. But I'd want more of the asteroid stuff. I yeah. want more of the discovery. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. so, that's, that's why I mean something like Dead Space, where you're just dropped on this asteroid, and you figure it out. Atmosphere is happening, yeah. and it's just kind of everything's happening around you, yeah. and you're slowly piecing together this puzzle. Yeah. Whereas with a movie, you'd end up basically with a very similar thing to the to thing, the thing and the where and, and, yeah, it's yeah. in an hour and a half sim- similar kind of pacing problems where you can't really build a backstory, you can't really do anything, you'd just be dropped. In well, it would be the, what, what happened here was the equivalent of like Mass Effect. If they just went these are the mass relays. Just ignore the backstory for them. No, ignore the story for them. It looks cool, but we're just not going to talk about it. And this is what the, <laughs> yeah. our entire story is based and, on. And, and even the tech, plus. like they have some insane tech, Those little... and it you just doesn't shooting? make sense. You mean the shooting? The shoot when they were they, shooting? They magically make the atmosphere on the asteroid from this guy's ship, like yes, and, and oh, the terrapins, yeah. the little robots like, put everything together. And like, then the guys like, I mean the guys like, game, man. Well, yeah, that would be cool. And then the guys like, oh, are we going to be safe after they just blow up the lost station? The guys like. Oh, uh, Grunt A. I can't remember his name. Grunt A with a gun. The guy just shoots up into the air, and it's, it's like nothing's happened. And it's like, oh, it just absorbs the kinetic energy and turns it into like <laughs> into power. To that's, but that's what like, I mean by he well, came in with like state well, of the art. Yeah, like why didn't they have this way before way then? Way. Like, well, why are they using yeah. something some for like? Well, like no, how do you anything. have to hold the circuit together on the lift? It doesn't make <laughs> like these these things don't make they sense. Don't, this is a CJ add, moment. They don't, they don't is what this One is, is not like the other. Yes. <laughs> or even when the doctor was knew that he had been like he was gonna get attacked and, and he's right next to the door and you're like, you know you can just like get out. Yeah. Like you can you know, you're not like a far away from the door, you're literally right next to it. Just yeah. get out and lock the door. It was it was very yeah, it was very and he even makes a comment like this isn't like some B movie horror horror yeah, movie where we get to, and then and then later, two pages later, let's go do that thing that I just said we won't do. Let's go do that. Yeah, yeah it's it's, it's like it's like our, <laughs> oh also when when that guy comes and they all go down and they're like, this is we're not going to split up. We're gonna we're gonna go together and we're gonna come back together. But right, the rescue team earlier in 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 the, in, in the comic <laughs> both split up into two teams and <laughs> went into the dark area and they got killed. And you're like, well, what you weren't gonna do the whole splitting up and getting killed thing now? Like, cause it happened. Oh, what was your what was your favorite moment, like panels in this book? Like I said, for me, it was when when uh, Sinclair was being absorbed. That was definitely one of my favorite bits. When Sinclair was being absorbed. Sinclair. Yeah, right at the beginning. Oh, okay. Like end of the first book, where it's just like it's in my suit, and then you just see her eye, and you see this. Thing. Oh yeah. Over her, and that's yeah. that's what you get. Tastes like chicken. What about you? The pink panels. The pink panels. <laughs> the, the, just because it was Pretty. it was so because it was so different from everything else, and I like I was. I spent like about ten minutes just looking at it, trying to go. I, I can't tell what's going on here, yeah. and the contact, and then I, and then I kind of figured out what they were trying to do because they're trying to do this thing where it's shaky, yeah, shaky cam almost, but in uh, like artistic form. Yeah, <laughs> it's just trippy. Yeah, that, it was, no, that's, it was that's, trippy. That's, as, that makes sense. There was, was one other bit that I thought was really really cool and kind of amusing when um, so the little terrapin robots when he was trying to send one like a hard line down yeah. and that robot gets killed and the other robot on his way back. Sees this, <laughs> picks up the line, and it just picks up. So you, you see this kind of. I, I don't know why, but I got this impression that it had this expression on his face. Like, huh, why is this guy dead over here? And then it picks up the line and just goes up. Yeah, like, I was like. What is the point of this panel? What am I missing? <laughs> yeah. I kept thinking I'm missing something here. So uh, at least we know the robots are doing this. Yeah. Um. Uh, what about what about you? The Your favorite. Pa- Huh? The lift, the lift bit where you see his face like yeah, all. Oh, I thought it was the hand sticking the hand. In. <laughs> that too. I like. I don't know why. I like that. Oh, the image. hand in the mouth. No, the hand. No, 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 the, the hand, the hand the into door. the socket. So you could. Oh, <laughs> the the, one that, no, the hand the socket one, is really... the one that he apparently got offended by. Um... <laughs> for me, I liked that bit for in the lift where his face goes all wonky, and at the end where they have the whole standoff, where he's he's caught in the airlock. Yeah. And he can't quite reach the guy on the other end. Again, this was like aliens. This is your alien. Yeah. yeah, this is again like aliens. I don't know. That's those are those are the two bits that stuck out that stuck out for me. Uh, I think for me it would be the gore scenes are really cool. You know, like those bits where the the tentacles come out of someone's eyeballs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh that was so cool. Um, and uh, the ge- the way they do Anderson's creep factor was really cool. Yeah. Um, I'm actually not a horror fan. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think in, in comics, I, I really enjoy it because <laughs> I'm noticing more and more, the more comics I really, really like are like the insanely disturbing, uh, you horror your kind of, last time. um, yeah. And, and my favorite panels in that were like the, the creepy, creepy ass, ass moments. Ass. They're so cool. Like Grunt A getting his uh, eyes just. No, like, you know, like you get these panels in, in some books where you have like a shadow just barely illuminating. Oh, you like, mean like illuminating really someone's face and you see like the glimmer of like really sharp teeth. Like, right, right, right. Like right, that right, kind right, of stuff is, is I, I really like those panels. In this, it was um, the way they, they show this guy's face when, when the counselor is like, oh yeah, yeah, how are you doing? I'd love to chat with you. And, and she can't see the guy. You can as the, as the viewer and you're seeing his face like open up. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty, that's I was pretty like, open. am I seeing this right? Is this like a reflection on like a doorknob? No, no. This is actually what's yeah. going on. I'm like, oh. it's like, it's like classic horror films. They used to do a lot of that, right? They used to do a lot of, if you didn't, if you weren't careful on watching it, you wouldn't notice the small details they put like in the background yeah, of stuff. I can't do um, horror, I guess, because of the sound. I don't like things being quiet and then suddenly yeah. being loud for no bloody <laughs> reason. I hate it. Most things, I hate it. Most horror movies. So these comics, yeah, I now, can do. Yeah, nowadays, most, it's jump scares. Most, most yeah. horror things these days rely a lot on jump scares. Yeah, yeah. Lot. and it's always thing. quiet moment. <laughs> yeah, you know, like I, which I, I which is why it's not that I don't like horror movies, but I find them kind of boring because of that. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's whereas, a trope. Yeah. 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 Whereas, um, no, lazy what is it? The remake of it. I think they did a. Freaking oh yeah, that was job. fantastic. They did a really great job. I thought, I mean, it trailed off at the end, just like the original movie. The did. problem, the problem for the, it was just that it himself is but not a. No, he was, dude. He, he was the no, way I mean, he, he acted is, was fantastic. No, but I mean, he, he himself isn't just a. Now. He's just not the best horror character that like, becomes scary. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not watching it. I'm part. not watching it. No, I'll, read it. it. No, I'll read it. I'll read it. You know what? Watch it. Watch this new. It's not a sudden loud thing kind of thing. It's they build atmosphere around a really creepy kind of thing. So, for example, right at the beginning of the movie, it's obviously five minutes in. Clown is in the in the drain, yeah. and he's just having a conversation with the kid. And it's not even it's not even a it's scary. We're not even showing you that he's. Yeah, it's not even a scary conversation. He's like, oh, uh, you know, your boat is in the is in the sewer. Yeah, yeah. when so you go to the fa- where you go to the fairground, yeah. what do you smell? Cotton candy, popcorn. It's all so lighthearted, but the way he's saying it. It's this guy creepy. modulates his voice almost joker like like yeah. it's it's kind of like a deep and then high and then it's, it messes with it a bit so this you feel this kind of tension building and then when it kind of the the switch flips it's not just loud music or anything you just you literally go what the f- just happened yeah and then later on when okay maybe the, i should watch yeah this. later, no, on, later on like, when, the ha- um, when they're in the houses or when he starts scaring the kids dude it is freaky yeah. like they do a really good creep factor no. And, and then the this thing one, I liked the most about that was even in this, I think they have a bit of it because yeah, of, they they try stuff like yeah. guys, there's a noise down there. <laughs> yeah, like um, no, that, it doesn't but, work in comics as as, as, as well. It really does. doesn't, but, but they do do it. But jump scares are are lazy writing. Yeah. It's lazy. It's lazy hard writing. It is. Because yeah, it yeah. yeah. it's it's, like it's, it. a, it's like a cheap. Cheap it's a thrill. Cheap, it's yeah. a cheap shot. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I don't like jump scares. <laughs> Just because of the noise, like it's always the sound. Like, like yeah. I, I hate that shit. I, I I, it's, for me, it. it's it's it should be something that you can give you a chill. Yeah, something and, that gives and you something a chill. that it's it's, it's palpable feeling in the atmosphere of the movie. Like you're supposed to feel like the person's there, but they're not just in your face, kind of like jumping up randomly. They're not behind every. They might be behind every curtain, but you don't know. Yeah. yeah. Um. Mm. Going back to this thing, do you yeah. remember Grunt B, the lady? Yeah. When yeah. she's like, I'm going to get vengeance for my partner who died. Yeah. Screw you. And then she goes to the armory, picks up a bigger, badass gun like in all these other movies. Yeah. yeah. And then gets, it gets disemboweled straight away. This and is, she's, like, she's basically the... Uh, oh, that, that scene was cool with her like gut, guts like pouring out. Oh, that was and, so good. And then good. she just ends with a, with a classic um, line of... Oh, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, this is this is basically this is the predator the predator dude as a as a chick is is basically yes. what that yeah, was. That that whole scene was just that. <laughs> You're like you didn't even get to use that gun. I don't know what it was. Was it a shotgun? Was it a flamethrower? What was it? We don't know. I love how we're Never referencing know. this movie by all the I mean this this comic by all the movies. It, 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 it could it could yeah. genuinely be described as predator. alien meets the thing meets Doctor Who. Like, it's it's just, it's a very generic yeah meets just, Look, just predator. This, the, but this is my problem, like it's 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 kind of super generic. Like even cartoons have had this. Yeah, like well, it is hundred percent generic. Um, but which, I think I don't know. Uh, I nailed that on on John Carpenter's influence. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it's based on John Carpenter stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's when all you look, gonna yeah, be when you look at all this stuff. The thing, Ghost of Mars. Yeah. 
things like that. There is this whole, there is a pattern of people getting possessed, um, uh, changing forms and kind of there's there's always infiltration so you never know who's on whose side that yeah. kind of thing it's it's very much his his mo mm -hmm. with with the horror horror stuff that he writes yeah. so you, it's, you expect it when it's got john carpenter written on it okay it's just cool that it's set in like it's, it's a, no it's a different set yeah. in space yeah. Yeah. personally i find this more just generic sci-fi than than horror. than horror yes yeah it goes i mean it starts at it starts at that kind of tense horror-ish bit then it switches. It, but it, it, switches. It, could, it could they could have maintained it. Like he could have maintained it if the guy had got back to his thing and started things like messing up with the power, taking out people one by one, yes. that sort of stuff. But instead, he just went, "Let's just create an army of these things and just go slicing people." Yeah, and I'm going to save the world. Uh... Oh, I'm I'm going to go back to Earth and create a research paper. Like <laughs> I, I, you know? I'm kind of hoping the baby is infected now. That you mentioned. <laughs> See, like, I I really am. Because the baby on. showed up from nowhere. It was given by Willow, exactly. by Sinclair, to the guy. That, that baby is. That baby is the monster like in that, that pink scene in, in, in that pink scene it, she, she she saves him and says you're not going to you're not going to take it and then she hands him chief take this bundle of wrapping stuff and then it turns out to be a baby and yeah. it happens to be the chief station's baby that's supposed to have been killed <laughs> Wait, where that. did that come from uh, yeah i'm gonna finish the last couple of issues yeah. i i'm so confused get get good get to that i think it's the no, no, I, I have read the whole thing. Like, it's just I didn't, I didn't read into movie. the whole thing. Like for all the flashback moments, I'm like, I get to the but main. I didn't feel main like a flashback. Part. It was when they were escaping from the yeah, from but the it's... grunt tentacle guy. Did the um? It just feels these random. monthly John Carpenter things uh, interact, intersect in any way? Do you know that? Do you know no, that? the yeah. first, the first three had nothing to do with this. Imagine, imagine it's like. The outer limits, where everything is kind of its own. So it, I felt like that as well. I'm like, yeah. is it was there like are we meant to know these characters from a previous thing? No, no, <laughs> no. It's not that I feel that just, way. I'm just like it'd be nice if if they landed into each thing, other. Well, if they had a kind of almost a cross crossover kind of yeah. situation. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I felt bad for Bear. Like he was misused, man. Well, yeah. Oh, he was Spetsnaz. He <laughs> was. <laughs> he's a badass Russian. Fodder. He did. He didn't get screen time, man. He might as well like red red shirt character. He just gets jettisoned the first time. Poor guy. Um. In any case, yeah. uh, so like, it, it, so you'd recommend it? Would you? Um, if you have a lot of free time, well, I, I would. you read it in an hour, a couple of hours. Yeah, yeah but that's that's because that I would I do that with everything. <laughs> I I don't know because I feel like it's it's it was a mix of really good at the beginning and then it just it was not very nice and towards the end. It was generic action. I didn't like that. Yeah. What about you? I think I'd recommend it, but mostly because. Because it's short, you can just kind of gun through it, and it does it does kind of pull you in at the beginning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And once you're pulled in, you're like, well, I may as well finish it. Yeah. Yeah. Even even when the when the when tone changes a, a little, you're still kind of like, okay, well, it's only another issue, another two issues. I may as well finish it. Yeah, I'd say it's it's pretty short. Um, yeah, it is. Yeah. And it's uh, you could read a lot worse, to be honest. No, it's not. <laughs> There's a lot worse you could be reading. Like it's it's not bad. The art is really. It's really good. Really uh, good. Um, yeah, if you're gonna read for that, that's a good reason. Yeah. Actually. Uh, I'd say read for the art and the, the gore. We were speaking about horrors <laughs> earlier, and, and we said like a good horror leaves you also when when you finish whatever you're watching, mm -hmm. it feels that lingering kind of fear. Like I never used to think of Jaws as a horror, but you know that kind of thing where you don't want to go in the water anymore. Yeah. Or the Grudge, which had the whole under the blanket uh, thing. Don't, let's not start that. <laughs> the, the problem is this could have been that at the beginning. Well, could have if it could've, was yeah. could have, but then it turned into a generic action where the tentacle people were not scary. They were just. Yeah, it just became like a slasher, almost like a slasher exactly, yeah, kind just, of situation. So that's the problem. Yeah. Anyways. Um, um, so recommendations. Yeah. So, yeah, go read this, I guess. So that's our right? verdict. Read it for um, the art. Yeah, read it for the art. <laughs> um, uh, next time, it's my pick, yeah, it's and we're doing a TV show. Yeah. And we didn't talk about this before, actually. <laughs> um, have you? No. Uh, it has to be a show that is so the, the whole thing is it's 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 something on our backlog that we have not touched Perfect. and i've already watched castlevania too so. i've i saw that i haven't so, seen season two yet oh you should yeah it's a really it's really good yeah. um but for the next one mm -hmm. have you seen okay have you have you watched basically i've narrowed it down to shira one punch man and uh please be sabrina. the please sabrina. Be sabrina yeah sabrina okay, okay let's do sabrina, let's do sabrina. Okay, <laughs> the chilling, much, the chilling adventures of Sabrina. <laughs> the, first the, first season, the first season, the first season. That, that's, yeah. a lot, that's, a, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot, guys. First season. <laughs> that's of Sabrina. Actually, not so bad. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Two weeks from now. Yeah. I saw the trailer and I was like, mm. No, I'm a fan. 
<laughs> but, of the new of the new one. No, I'm a fan of the old one. I'm a fan. So of the I'm old curious one. <laughs> to see what what they've done. Um, if only you picked One it's... Punch Man. Could have skipped all the homework. <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, it's also uh, no Sabrina. Let's do let's do Sabrina. Wait, you haven't seen um, One Punch Man yet? <gasps> okay, so it's on the backlog. We'll add that now for another episode. Yeah, yeah. Unless I already watch it. <laughs> Wait, you haven't seen it either. Um, I haven't seen it. Yeah. So we'll save it. Then. Um, yeah, we can save that for later. Yeah, we'll that sure. Later. Um, so yeah, so if you want to join us on the next episode in two weeks, uh, watch the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. It's on Netflix. So... Yeah, it's on Netflix. Yeah. You can uh, you can get it or slash buy it for whatever you know. Netflix and chilling. <laughs> Netflix yes. And chillin'. <laughs> Netflix and chilling. That is that is that is painful. <laughs> Anyways, I'm Hell's Knight. Zane. Sahid. And Hillary. Yeah. Have fun. Have fun, guys. Do you have an opinion on what we just discussed? Did we miss something? Tell us in the comment section, and we'll read it in the next episode. If you're listening on Anchor. Send us a voice message and we'll add it to this episode. Don't forget to follow our podcast on Twitter, at SpoilFans, for updates. And follow our Instagram for behind-the-scenes action, at Spoilers and Fandom. Also, subscribe to us on YouTube and Anchor to get the latest episodes.